Now, let's solve for the measure of central tendency of ungrouped frequency distribution table. So, we have here ungrouped frequency distribution table. To solve for the measure of central tendency, what we will do is we will multiply the x values, in our case the masses, multiply it to the corres their corresponding frequency. So, x times f or f times x. And then, let's just copy it. The next thing that we will do is we sum the total number of frequency. Next, we will sum the product of x and f. And to get the mean, all you have to do is divide the product, sum of the products divided by it to the total number of frequency. And that's enter. And that's the mean of the ungrouped frequency distribution table. Now, how about the median? So for the median, we, what we will do is we will just get the total number of frequency. So that is 50. But we divide this by 2. It means we will look for the 25th. We need to look for the average of the 25th and 26th value of our problem. So to know that, you can always add this side or you can use the cumulative frequency. So how to get the cumulative frequency? I hope you still remember how to get it. You just 3. For this one, this is 9 plus the previous and then you just drag it down and that. Now, if you observe, number the 25th value and the 26th value is around here. So it's around 61. It's around here. So the median, you get the average of the 25th, which is 61, and the, av and the value 26, which is also 61. The average of that is simply 61. The mode is the one who has the highest frequency. As you observe, the one who has the highest frequency is actually 61 again. So it has a frequency of 23, so that is the mode. The mid-range is the ma maximum plus the minimum. It's not minus, it's just the it's addition <laughs> divided by 2, and that is the mid-range. So I hope you now know how to solve the measure of central tendency in a ungrouped frequency distribution table.